Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the domain of the natural log of negative x squared plus 4. So you can only take the natural log of positive numbers and so the domain is just the set of all numbers that you plug into this that makes sense. So you can only plug in positive numbers into ln x. If you have ln x, x has to be greater than 0. That's the domain. Here it's something else though. So the idea here, here is that this whole thing has to be positive, right? That's like your x, whatever's inside. So step one is always, when you're finding the domain, is always to take this piece and set it greater than zero. So that's always your first step. Step two is to solve this inequality. So there's a couple ways to do this. Let's take a more elegant approach. So let's rename this. I'm gonna let y be equal to negative x squared plus 4. And so now the question becomes, for what values of x is y greater than 0? Right, because that's y, it's the same thing. So we can just think about the graph now. So if it's just x squared, you know it's a u like this, it's called the parabola. If it's negative x squared, it's, it's an upside down u. But when it's negative x squared plus 4, it's even better it's an upside down u shifted up by four. So it looks like this. So you might say, why are we graphing this? Well, because now we can look at the graph and answer the question. So first note that it crosses here and it crosses here. So you might say, well, when's that gonna happen? Well, when is y gonna be zero? You can pretty much look at it and say, okay, when it's two, I'll get two squared, so I'll get a negative four. And also when it's negative two, right? If I plug that in, it's going to become a 4, and there's a negative here, so negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So when is y greater than 0? Well, here, right? When is it above the x-axis? Right here, where, where my little cursor is. But we want the x values for which that's true. So it's all of these guys here. All of these numbers here that I'm shading in, those are the x values where y is positive. And you don't want to include the negative 2 and the 2 because it says greater than, right? Those are That's when it's equal to 0. So that's the answer. That's the domain of the function, negative 2 to 2. Really cool because this is not the graph of the original function. No, no. This is the original function, right? So we started off by looking for the domain and step one is you just always take whatever's here and you set it greater than zero. Then we said, okay, we have to solve this inequality. Let's do it the cool way. Let's do it graphically. So we called it y. We looked at the graph and the question becomes, when is the graph positive? In other words, when is this picture above the x-axis, right? Those are the positive y values, right? The ones above the x-axis. Well, these are the x values for which the y values are positive. So negative two to two. And that's coincidentally answers our original question. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.